Shabbat Shalom, and welcome 52 Shabbatot in little teeny boxes away from each other. Raz, I think it was 52 Shabbatot ago you had on your fuchsia bathrobe. Do you have it today? Because we need to see. That was so fabulous. Oh, you're wearing real clothes. Okay. <laughs> um, here we are. I don't know if any of you looked at any of the video that Peter embedded in the missive this morning. Just uh, all these memories of being in the sanctuary, um, standing at the podium next to Cantor Fromer and joking about, you know, can you move back a few feet, please? There's a pandemic. And of course, we thought that might last for a couple of weeks that we'd be separated or somewhere apart from each other. And here we are a year later, I think by and large, we've been very lucky as a community to be coming to this point with a lot of strength and a lot of love and very happily, a lot of good health, I think in our community and a lot of support for those who have dealt with illnesses over this last year, but we come together tonight prepared to celebrate Shabbat, to have beautiful music with Michelle Citrin, who visits us again to lead our Shabbat service from Brooklyn, New York, and Cantor Glaser, and with a lot of humility and gratitude as we find ourselves in this really significant milestone moment one year into the pandemic. So we'll take a deep breath and just appreciate the incredible community that we have and the people that we have and the process that we are going through and the place that we find ourselves at on this journey, on this wandering and meandering as we look forward to being back, as I said in my missive this morning, as the Israelites found themselves eventually at the end of the wandering at home, we too will find ourselves eventually at the end of our wandering back at home. So with that dream of home, guiding us forward as it did our ancestors, we enter into Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. And let's also welcome very quickly our board member, Mike Feldman, to say Shabbat Shalom. Uh, Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Uh, I'd like to welcome you all to uh, Shabbat services on behalf of the board of trustees. My name is Mike Feldman. Uh, I guess it's almost a year that I've been on the board uh, in May or June. Uh, so uh, welcome and uh, thank you for, for joining us. It's great to see everyone here uh, and enjoy. Enjoy uh, uh, Michelle and Cantor Toby and uh, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you so much, Mike. Michelle is joining us from New Jersey, a whole other state to experience. <laughs> whole other state. Can you tell that I'm at my parents' house in New Jersey? It's a different background. I don't remember the last time. It is not there. My walls have like blue walls and purple circles and it's actually very San Francisco related. Brooklyn and San Francisco, but now I'm in New Jersey. Is this your I childhood? Fun. Is this your childhood uh, bedroom? Is This, this your is home? my sister's childhood bedroom. It mm. used to be neon green, like Kermit <laughs> green it is now all white because the kids are gone but now there's grandkids and he's just turned one our son has turned one this week he's not sleeping he's crying downstairs so you might hear him that's avishai now you your, parents him. your parents don't care if you come home what's that <laughs> Right, right. It's just the kid. Have you come home? <laughs> I was telling Toby before that my mom has been stuck in Israel for like six months because she couldn't come home from the pandemic. So she just got home. First time she's seen the grandchild in like six months. So half of his life. And um, we're happy to be here and happy to be with you in San Francisco. And so we've already taken a breath. Let's take another one. It's Shabbat. And let out a hum on the, the note of D. Mm. You can throw in some harmonies if you want. Let's just get it all together. Mm -hmm. Feel the vibration in your heart. Warm up your body. Get ready to sing. Mm -hmm. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, 
Shabbat Shalom. Sing with me. La 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 la. Yeah la 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 la. Yeah la 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 la. Yeah la la. Yeah la 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 la. Yeah la 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 la. Yeah la 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 la. Yeah la 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 la. In Fairlawn, Fairlawn, New Jersey. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Makes it 161. Shabbat Shalom. Clap your hands at home. Yalai, lai, 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 Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Look to a square next to you and say those words. Shabbat Shalom. Pretend you can see them. Other side. Shabbat Shalom. Look above you now. Shabbat Shalom. All together. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. seems that we're warmed up. We're ready to welcome those angels. Now, if you remember last time, or maybe you weren't with us, but in this moment with Shalom Aleichem, the prayer is all about welcoming in angels. And I don't take that lightly. And we really want to look at this idea of, well, what is an angel? What are we inviting in? And this idea of malachim, angels, malach is a messenger. So we each are going to close our eyes in this moment everybody no cheating close your eyes and i want you to think in your mind what is it that you need this shabbat maybe you have an answer that you need to you need to receive something you need a message that you're seeking so take a breath concentrate on something you're thinking about and in a moment with your eyes closed gordon is going to now bring in our angels but don't look yet and in a moment, when I count to three, wherever your eye goes, that will be your angel. You'll see a message on the screen. And wherever your eye lands, that is your Shabbat angel. And they're there to help you through whatever question you might have. So on the count of three, one, two, three. And wherever your eye goes, boom, there it is. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Asharetz, Malachi Elyon. Mi Melech, Malachi Amlachim, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Boachem Shalom, Malachi Asharetz, Malachi Elyon. Malachi Amlachim, Akatosh Baruchu. Barchuni le Shalom, Malachi Ashalom, Malachi Elyon. Mi Melech, Malachi Amlachim, Akadosh Baruchu. Say 
Shalom, 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 Hakadosh Baruch Hu Yai Lai Lai Yai Lai 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 Why don't you share the angels that you saw, you saw on the screen? Go ahead and share that in the chat and we'll sing Yai Lai Lai and welcome all these angels in Yai Lai 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 Yai Lai 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 So we welcome in all these beautiful angels of balance, integrity, and play. Ooh, lots of balance. Truth, delight. Isn't it amazing how our eyes go into different places? Lots of balancing, okay, and simplicity and release. I'm seeing a theme here, people, and these are really good. And we all get to benefit from all of these angels, but this is your angel for Shabbat and carry it with you into the week if you'd like. So we welcomed the light of Shabbat. We've welcomed the angels. It's time to welcome that bride. Lecha do di clap clap li krakala you already know the melody from last time. Shamor All together, Likrat Shabbat lechu v'nilchas ki mekor habiracha merosh mikedem nesucha sof maase b'machshavat chila lechadodi lechadodi lekakala yeah tene Shabbat nekabila. This is where we're going to use the word Uriv not once but five times to awaken, say it with strength and awake to this moment, be present, be present. Here we go. Shildaberi, Kevoda donahi, and lahit niglal, sing it. Lechadodi, Likakala, Pene Shabbat, Nikabila, Lechadodi, Likakala, Pene Shabbat, Nikabila, Yadadai, Yadadai. Because you're singing so nicely, the Sabbath bride would like to join us. Maybe in a secret Zoom square, but to welcome her. If we would like in our home spaces to rise 
in body and spirit, like something important is happening, important, from New Jersey, important. Boi v'shalom, ateret bala, we welcome the Sabbath bride. Boi v'shalom, ateret bala, gam besimcha utzoh ola, toch emunei am segula, Bori kala, bori kala. Sing la chadodi, le chadodi, ni kakala. Tiene shabbat ne kavela, le chadodi, ni kakala. Tiene shabbat ne kavela. One more time, le chadodi. Nika kala, pene shabbat nika bela, lecha todi. Nika kala, pene shabbat nika bela. Yaradai. Thank you, Michelle. Someone has mentioned uh, Shabbat candles. <laughs> we somehow managed to, uh, sorry, we had a different uh, cue sheet this week, and I may have left it off. I don't even have candles here. Is there anyone we can spotlight for candles and show them being lit, Gordon? Anyone? Wave if you have some candles to light for us. Yes, Ruth. Excellent. Wonderful. All right, Gordon, can we get a spotlight on Ruth really quickly while we light our candles? Excellent. Do you want to chant for us as well, Ruth? Feel free to unmute, please. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam Asher Kitshanu B'mitzvotah Vitzivanu Lehad Lichner Lehad Lichner Shel Shabbat Amen. Thank you so much, Ruth. And we just, uh, you know, we were just being a little more observant by waiting till it was a little darker. <laughs> we didn't forget, you know, we just <laughs> wanted to wait till, you know, those first stars started appearing in the sky, like the rabbis tell us. Um, and now we have our call to prayer. So please take it away, Michelle. <laughs> I mean, the Baruch Hu is asking, are you ready? Are you ready? And now that we have the candles, we definitely are. So ready. So ready. So if you're already standing, please remain standing. Otherwise, please join us for the brahu. <laughs>
As we enter into this part of the service where we talk about love and oneness, I invite you to think of somebody who loves you so much and is hugging you right now and what that feels like. And sing these words with us. You are loved, loved, loved by an unending love. Non-ending love, we are loved. We are loved, loved, loved by non-ending love, non-ending love. We are embraced by arms that find us, even when we are it hidden from ourselves. We are touched by fingers that soothe us even when we are too proud for soothing. We are counseled by voices that guide us, even when we are too embittered to hear. We are loved, loved, loved by an unending love, an unending love. We are loved Loved, loved by an unending love, an unending love. We are supported by hands that up uplift us, even in the midst of a fall. We are urged on by eyes that meet us, even when we are too weak for meeting. We are loved by an unending love embraced, touched, soothed, and counseled. Ours are the arms, the fingers, the voices. Ours are the hands, the eyes, the smiles. We are loved, loved, loved by an unending love. An unending love. Yes, we are loved, loved, loved by an unending love. An unending love. Breathe in that beautiful love that you might be feeling right now. How about you, if you're somebody who reads the left side of the page, like where all the English is, and sometimes there's beautiful poetry. I don't know if you ever think about who are those poets and what happened to them and where are they? Well, it just so happens we, we were lucky enough uh, in this generation to have amongst us a, a beautiful poet named Stacy Zisok Robinson, who sadly has passed this week. And it's a, a real tragic loss for the Jewish world and all of her beautiful poetry and writings. And I wanted to share one of her writings, a reflection about the Shema. It's called, Listen. Listen. No, really, listen. Can you hear it? That thrum, that vibration up from your feet, through your leather-soled feet, it moves, filling you and buzzing up and building till you want to burst with breath and life. It moves in the drone of traffic noise and bird song, and wind that scrapes against leaves the color of heartbreak gold, and the air smells of cold and wood smoke. God, can you hear it? All of it. It's fast and slow together dissonant and tender as love and driving a moving, pounding, syncopated fifth that gathers you in and you're part of it, all of it, a single note, a holy, sacred note that rises like breath that is the voice of God that starts like a thrum, like a drone and a buzz and so filled with glory and joy and bursts uncontained and fierce, a single note of gathered sound and God. Stacy said that when we sing that 
single note, we declare the unity of God. We listen, we hear, and so we connect with God. And that's what we're about to do with the Shema. So I invite you to close your eyes. Take a breath. Let go of the week. And we'll start with the words, like Stacy said, to listen. 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 Listen to the sound. Because it's all around. Sing, listen. Listen. Shema Israel. Adonai. which takes on particular significance around this time of year, uh, around Pesach, Zman Cherutenu, the time of our freedom. And so it felt particularly uh, important to bring you a meditation before we reach that, uh, that sea and cross over in a couple of weeks with lots and lots of matzah. <laughs> but uh, we thought we would uh, share uh, this reading before Michelle leads us in a Micha Mocha. Adonai, God of the outstretched hand, who brought our ancestors out of confinement in Egypt. Release all those bodily confined for the pursuit of justice. Release us from the prisons and the calluses we have construed, constructed around our hearts. Release our hands from the shackles we have placed on them and guide them to their work. Release our minds from the de deceptions in which they are imprisoned. 
remove exhaustion from our eyelids and our bodies. Release our spirits from terror and fear. Renew us that we may be renewed. Set us on our journey to the land we are to enter. Mi chamocha ba elim madonai Mi chamocha ne dar ba kodesh No rate hilo o se fele if you feel like moving your body, it brings about that feeling of freedom, which is the essence of the prayer. Sometimes when we move our body to the rhythm of the prayer, we can feel its meaning even more so. Think of your angels that you received this evening. May they bring you to a place of freedom. Take those angels with you and sing Mi Chamocha together. Mi Chamocha ba'en limadonai Mi Chamocha nedar ba'kodesh Nora tehilo oh sefele Nora tehilo sefele Repeat after me. Ma'chutecha, ma'chutecha, rahu vanecha Okay, I am. Okay, I am. Live name Moshe and Miriam. Is Eli? Is Eli? I know we Adonai. Im loch leolam ba'ed. Yalai. Yalalai. moving around good dancing so when we cross over to the other side yes we will have our matzah on the on the way to sustain us but hopefully we are welcomed by that shelter of peace asukat shalom so as we did last time we want to take this moment to invite you to add in your sukkah shalom into the chat what what is your sukkah shalom what brings you peace a shelter of peace is it um, right now I'm looking around and going, wow, I grew up here. This is a shelter of peace for sure. This is like a womb, you know? So as we sing these words, Sukkot Shalom, go ahead and, and share some images and it could be metaphor for sure. Yeah, beautiful family. Mm -hmm. Yes, the Sherith Israel community is definitely a Sukkot Shalom. And your dog Figaro, mm, children. Su kachalom Su kachalom Su Ashkivenu Ashkivenu Adonai Eloheinu le shalom, le shalom. Behamideinu, shomreinu le chayim, le chayim. Ufros aleinu, ufros aleinu. Sukat shlomecha. Ufros aleinu sukat shlomecha 
As I lay me down, may I feel peace all around. As I lay me down, may I feel peace all around. Shelter beneath your wings, may I feel safe and protected. Until a new day begins, Ashki venu Adonai, Eloheinu le shalom, le shalom. Let's do sukkah shalom, sukkah shalom, sukkah shalom, sukkah. Beautiful images of these shelters of peace. Thank you for contributing those. So as we prepare to enter into a space of a very personal, personal prayer, we say the words of Adonai Svatai Tiftach Ufi Yagi Tehilatecha. And this is a melody by cantor Natalie Young. And I think it's one of the most beautiful melodies and certainly helps me get into that space. So please rise in body and spirit and allow these words to lift up your heart Shiva Ruach Umorid Hagashem 
מחלקל חיים בחסד, מחיי הכל ברחמים רבים, סומך נופלים ורופא חולים, ומתיר אסורים, ומקיים אמונתו לשני עפר. מי חמוך בעל גבורות, ומי דומה לך. מלך ממית ומחיה, ומצמיח ישוע, ונאמן אתה להחיות הכל. ברוך אתה, אדוני, מחיה הכל. אתה קדוש ושמך קדוש, וקדושים בכל יום יהללוך הסלע. ברוך אתה, אדוני. האל הקדוש. As we look at this near Tamid, I'm reminded of this idea that we have this holy of holies in our hearts, that we are all made from a divine image. the words of Yehiu Leratzon, may we find that light, connect into the, that heart space right there, your light, your eternal light, to go inside your heart and see what is needed in this moment, what do you need to hear. Mm-hmm.
So in New Jersey, where I am now, normally in Brooklyn, the weather's pretty similar. I don't know about what it feels like in San Francisco right now. So you can just give me some, not really, Michelle. Or, yeah, totally, Michelle. But right about now, we are seeing buds on the trees, and we know that it's getting warmer and spring is coming. Can you tell in San Francisco that spring is coming? The, not really sure. There's a little, uh, no, Michelle, it's still a little damp. It's still a little. It's a little gray. I don't know. Well, I'm here to tell you from the East Coast that spring is coming. It's so around the corner. And we have been thinking so much about where we were, you know, this time last year, right? Is that what's happening for you? Like, oh my gosh, can you believe it's a year? It's been like a decade, but it's also been a year since this craziness began. And look where we are. Hope is on its way. Vaccines are going around and you know, the numbers are going down and may we just continue to go in the direction of hope and positive change. And um, I wanted to offer this song I wrote, it's called Seasons of Change. And it's for that moment where you see all around you these changes that are happening. That's the beautiful thing about the East Coast, but also on the West Coast. I know you have your your seasons. What are the changes that you see? Maybe you can write that in the chat box. Like, how do you know that spring is coming? See, going to the farmer's market tomorrow, spring is very, very visible. So go ahead and write some, some things about the weather. How do you know the change is coming? Because the whole point with change is that uh, we need to just embrace it and flow and roll with it. Otherwise, you just get knocked down. <laughs> so we got to you got to bend like the trees and blow with the wind. These are great. What does it smell like? I want to see. It smells like spring. <laughs> San Francisco definitely has bud. It's true. It's very true. I see what you did there. Merle and Sandy. Well done. Oh, beautiful. The pulp magnolias. Mmm. Keep going. Keep writing those images. I love it. Thank you. The sun is rising. A new horizon. Can you feel the warmth of possibility? A bright new light to guide our way. Out of the darkness of the night, a brand new day. This crazy world keeps on turning. I swear it goes faster and faster with each year. The tides are shifting by the light of the moon. All of this motion makes me dizzy with fear. Do the days feel so long now? When all the years go by so fast I feel the seasons change around me I hold on tight to make it last We gotta keep on going I come what may The winds of change will come along We must learn to sway Standing still will get you nowhere Except caught up in the rain mm -hmm. So we gotta let go And let in the seasons of change Ooh. There's a time for expansion, a time for contraction, a time to let go, and a time to let in. Some years will answer, some leave us questioning. This is the dance that we all seem to live. With everything so uncertain, We can find our strength To know that anything is possible 
to know that there's always a chance. We gotta keep on going, come what may. The winds of change will come along, we must learn to sway. Standing still will get you nowhere except caught up in the rain. Mm -hmm. We gotta let go and let in seasons of change. Ooh. Keep on going, come what may. The winds of change will come along. We must learn to sway. Standing still will get you nowhere except caught up in the rain. Mm -hmm. We gotta let go and let in seasons of change. Let go and let in seasons of change. We gotta let go and let in seasons of change. Beautiful. We'll say a blessing of healing with these beautiful words as our backdrop. We're thinking of seasons of change and we pray wholeness and renewal. We wish a refua, shlema, sense of shlemut and shalom, body and of spirit to all those in our community, in our lives, our families, our hearts who are in need of our prayers tonight. We wish healing to Shoshana Hannah Asher, Rabbi Alexander Dukovny, Michael Ennery, David Habib, Nancy Igdaloff, Ruth Kagan, William Kurian, Carolyn Reznikoff, Carolyn Olson Stallman, Loie Tolson, Hilary Van Trees, and all those whom you mention now. Shebeirach avotenu mekor habracha imotenu may the source of strength who blessed the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say amen <laughs> come together as a community, we also have the privilege to share simchas, smachot, happy things. So please add them into the chat so that we can rejoice along with you. It is our obligation, a commandment to 
find those wonderful miracles that are around us to thank God for giving us life and sustaining us and enabling us to reach this time, maybe most of all, in a time when we are surrounded by challenges as well. We recognize these miracles and we thank you, God, for giving us life and celebration. And certainly <laughs> we have a, a wonderful simcha today of celebrating our rabbi's birthday. And I'm sure it's not a great feeling having your second pandemic birthday, but may <gasps> it be your last one in these circumstances. And Amen. we can all be in the sanctuary together next year. Admea uh, ve'esrim. We actually, another cantor taught me another expression. Admea ke esrim. You change one letter and it's, may you live to 100 as if you were 20. So that's also a wonderful nice. lesson for you. So please uh, join me in wishing our rabbi happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rabbi Graf. Happy birthday to you. Yes. Happy birthday. Thank Spirit you. fingers. Thank you. No more pandemic birthdays, please. No more. <laughs> no more. No mas. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Twice. So many smachot in our chat, too, which is amazing. Oh, and let's do a Shekhyanu, of course, sorry. Baruch Atadonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shekhyanu Vekiyamanu Vehigiyanu Lazman Hazem Amen. Amen. As we come to uh, kind of that end chapter, we just uh, we'll have a nice call and response here. So if you're not familiar with these words, just uh, just follow me. Repeat after me for Vehashivota in place of the Aleinu. Vehashivota. Vehashivota. And just so you understand the words we're saying are take it to heart. For sure, there is only, there is only God. Take it to your hearts. So let's place that in our heart, thinking of that larger God sense, God goggles, connecting ourselves to something larger. There are stars up above so far away we only see their light. Long, long after the star itself is gone. And so it is with people that we loved, their memories keep shining ever brightly, though their time with us is done. But the stars that light up the darkest night, these are the stars that guide us. As we live our days, these are the ways we remember.
on this Shabbat, we remember for Shiva, the first seven days following death, Iris Tandler, mother of Bob Tandler, and Beatrice Weisbrod, the great aunt of Peter Bonos. For Shloshim, we remember Stanley Newman, father of David Newman and Ellen, grandfather of Benjamin. A perpetual memorials on this Shabbat are Dr. Elliot Eisenberg, Judith M. Escalante Melvin, and Art Rosenberg. If you are remembering a loved one for Shiva or Shloshim the first seven or 30 days following a death, please add name into the chat so that we may remember them as well. The yard site anniversaries on the Shabbat are Rabbi Yona Ansbacher, Belen Barbalat, Barbara Birnbaum, Frederick Brock, Rabbi David B. Corin, Arnold Cotton, Audrey Davis, Jonathan Fateman, Stanley Freeman, Louise Ginsburg, Harold Gomes, Mervyn L. Harris, Martin LeBay, Reuben Levin, Gerald Plevin, Clara Safer, David Schukert, Shabadash Smilak, Michael Zarchin, and those whom you mention out loud now or in the chat so that we may thank God for the privilege of their lives. We join together with our mourners in Kaddish Yatom, the prayer which does not mention death, but rather thanks God for the privilege of these incredible lives that continue to inspire ours. Yit Kadal, the Yit Kadash Shemay Rabbah, the Almad, the Brahirte, the Amlich Machute, the Chayahon, the Yomechon, the Chaye, the whole Beit Israel, the Agala, the Wisman Kariv, the Imru, Amen. The Hay Shemay Rabbah, the Barach, the Alam, or May Omaya. Yit Barach, the Ishtabach, the Paar, the Tramam, the Nase, the Tadar, the Tale, the Talal, Shemay, the Kutsha, Brihu. The Ela min ko birchata vishirata tushbechata venechemata. The Amiran be alma ve imru amen. The Heish lama rabba min shemaya ve chaim alenu ve al kol Yisrael ve imru amen. O se shalom be mermavu ya se shalom alenu ve al kol Yisrael ve al kol yoshve tevel ve imru amen. May the one who creates harmony on high bring all Israel and all mourners everywhere. And we say together, Amen. Do we have any announcements from our executive director? Oh yeah, we got some announcements here. Um, so uh, it is with some relief that I announced that Adar is over, uh, which means we're a little less busy than we were. Um, however, there are a couple of things coming up. So uh, on the 16th of this month, that's just next week, um, at 6 p.m. is the JCRC Freedom Seder. Um, one of the co-officiants is somebody that we know. She's had a birthday recently. Um, you may know her. Uh, oh, yeah, it's the rabbi. Uh, so please join uh, Rabbi Graf uh, and uh, her co-officiant. Is it Rabbi Singer or Rabbi Singer? Uh, Rabbi Jonathan Singer from Congregation okay. Emmanuel will join me along with uh, lots of uh, potentates and dignitaries from all over the uh, world. I will there you also go. be singing a fun Yiddish song. So, oh, all <laughs> right for that at the end. Yeah, all right, fun. <laughs> a, a cameo appearance. Um, uh, after that, on the 22nd of March, uh, I invite you to join uh, Richard Johns. Uh, we'll be leading a uh, Haggadah making uh, class. So if you're thinking to yourself, huh, I'm not going to a Seder this year, um, and I don't really have a Haggadah floating around or not one that I'd like, here's an opportunity to take that into your own hands. A uh, little arts and crafts, pandemic arts and crafts, people, you got to get it in now. The pandemic's almost over. And then you'll have to go back to whatever it was you were doing a year and a half ago. Um, and finally, uh, I want to remind everybody that our own Second Night Seder uh, in its second digital edition uh, will take place on the 28th of March. Um, right here. Well, not right here. Well, sort of right here. I don't know. Where is here? Um, 
Uh, but that is a fundraiser for our wonderful Homozi program, uh, three plus decades of cooking uh, for the underhoused and shut-ins of San Francisco, uh, and hope you will turn out for that. Um, Rabbi Graf, Rabbi Phelps, and Cantor Glaser will all be there uh, with their tambourines. Um, if you're thinking, hey, I don't want to cook for that, uh, we've got a food for you. Um, we have catering option this year, courtesy of Delicious Catering, and more information is on our website. Uh, that's all I got written down. Uh, Rabbi, Cantor, anything? No, I think, yeah. That, 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 okay, that, 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 fantastic. All right, onwards. <laughs> The, oh, the one thing to know, uh, I mean, coming up, uh, uh, but uh, if you're looking for a year's course service during Pesach, that will be held on Friday the 2nd, I believe. Uh, so we will do that after services. Yeah. Uh, oh, and there'll be Torah study tomorrow. There, there's stuff. that. Yeah, right. <laughs> so uh, I believe uh, Rabbi Phelps is leading Torah study. It'll be brilliant as always. I invite you to join us. If you've never been, you should come. It's great. Uh, if you're looking for a synagogue, by the way, we've got a great synagogue right here. You should join that too. Okay, enough comedy. Where is here? <laughs> <laughs> where is here? Here is where you are. Wherever you go, there you are. Thank you. Beautiful words <laughs> from my executive director. Oh, hang on. And also, oh, yeah. All right. Let's uh, <laughs> let's make Kiddush real quick because that before Michelle closes us out, let's not miss all our regular uh, programming this week. Uh, so if you have a Kiddush cup handy, uh, we are going to sanctify this Shabbat as we do every week with the taste of wine or grape juice or no one's looking, whatever is in your cup. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Peri HaGafen Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kiddushanu B'Mitzvotav V'Ratzavanu V'Shabbat Kodsho Be'Ahava U'V'Ratzon Hinchilanu Zikaron L'Maase V'Reishit Ki hu yom t'chila l'mikra e-kodesh, Zeche l'tziyat mitzrayim. Ki vanu v'acharta, v'yotanu k'idashta, Mikol ha'amim. V'shabat kodshecha, b'ahava u'v'ratzon, Hinchaltanu. Baruch Ata Adonai, Mekadesh HaShabbat. Amen. L'chaim. Got a very fresh-faced Alan Mervis on screen there. <laughs> uh, and let's, uh, do we have any chalot to showcase for this evening? Anyone got a chalot to show? Oh, Pearl and Robert have one. Beautiful oh, one. Can we get Pearl and Robert? That's amazing. Did you make that? Wow. Those oh, seats. my God. Beautiful. Wow. All right. Excellent. Chalot. Let's bless this bread. Baruch atadonai Eloheinu melech haolam Hamotzi lechem min haaretz Betei avon Enjoy wow. your house. Betei avon. Yum, 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 <laughs> yum. Oh, my goodness. Y'all. I can say y'all because I have cousins in Texas. This has been a real, real honor and uh, treat for me to be with you at not just one, but two of your services. Um, you know, it's a silver lining of the pandemic that we got to be together during this time. And I, I will never forget that. I will be thinking of your community when I think back to these times of these beautiful moments of prayer and song. And so thank you for being so warm and welcoming. Thank you, Rabbi and Cantor for bringing me in. It's such a joy. And uh, I hope we get to see each other in person one day. If you're ever in Brooklyn, come and say hi. And um, so thank you all so much for being uh, so, so welcoming. And um, so for this last closing song, I wanted to leave you with a message of just uh, love, blessings, happiness, and peace. And that just so happens to be the name of the song. It's very long. So it has a little uh, choreography. Toby, maybe you'll, you'll help with that. So first we say, if I say love, you give a little heart and you go, you see the heart? Love. Then I say blessings. 
we don't really do this, but it works for the song. And then we say happiness. So we give it a little hee. Yeah. Good one, Sally. Good. And then peace. Uh-huh. Everybody look at Sally. That's a good spot. Okay, here we go. So we wish you love. You go love, blessings, blessings, happiness, and peace. Think we and just then you had you f- there we go. What happened? I froze? Just for a sec, but you're back. Everything's great. What did I get frozen on? <laughs> It was love. It was a perfect heart. It was wonderful. Okay, Very good, good, good. We got frozen on love. What's what better thing you can really? Okay, one, two, three. Six. We wish you love, love, blessings, happiness, and peace, and then clap. Love, mm. blessing, happiness, and peace. It goes fast. Are you ready? And this is all just a message of what I want to leave you. I don't want to leave you, but if I have to, I'm going to leave you with these few things. On your journey along the road, changes will come and people will go. And as you live and as you learn, these are the things that we hope you always know we wish you love love blessings happiness and peace we wish you love love blessings happiness and peace we wish you love love blessings yes happiness and peace we wish you love love blessings happiness and peace that's really good don't forget to sing the word love and blessings and happiness and peace because that's basically blessing all of these beautiful people on these squares with those things it's about connection and it's about reflection it's about drawing lines between the dots so your story could unfold your mistakes will guide you so be sure to say thank you because an attitude of gratitude will brighten any day here we go wish you love love blessings yes happiness and peace we wish you love love blessings Happiness and peace, we wish you love, love, blessings. Happiness and peace, we wish you love. Yes, Merle and Sandy got it. Happiness and peace. Well, it's about the journey and not the destination. And it's in your dreaming where you find your own path. It's about the questions and not always having answers. It's in the wandering and wandering where you find out who you are. We wish you love, love, blessings, happiness and peace. We wish you love, love, blessings, happiness and peace. We wish you love. If you're lost, just watch Merle and Sandy. They got it. Happiness and peace. We wish you love, love, blessings, happiness and peace. We wish you love. Wish you love, blessings, happiness and peace. Oh yeah, happiness and peace, happiness and peace. Yes, excellent job. Thank you all so much. Shabbat shalom. May you have a beautiful 25-hour restful Shabbat. Be Michelle, well, you're awesome. Safe. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much Thanks. for joining us. We're delighted to have you. And Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Really glad we can be together to celebrate Shabbat.